It's one of the most beautiful spots in the country. Above the fruited plain. Fourth painting in that series, Above the Fruited Plain. I got the idea for that. Uh, my mother, when she was a, a little girl, she told me the story about how she loved riding in the back of the wagon as they went to the grain elevator to drop off the flax. And so that's basically kind of where I got the idea of having the two kids in the back and, and the, uh, the, the families hauling the produce in, you know, the apples and the grain and the milk and, and whatnot. Eggs are there somewhere, you know, and they're hauling everything into town for selling it. And, of course, the dog has scooted up the, the ducks in the pond, and that's the touch of wildlife in that one, along with the pigeons and the grain elevators. In the town uh, itself, there's a building, there's a Redland building there, and a Foley building. There, there are people from here in town that I use the names. America, America. The fifth painting in the series, America, America is the title of it. That was a tough one. I, I couldn't come up with any... Uh, really thoughts that said it all uh, generally in America, America until just one day all of a sudden we were talking about schools and, and I thought well that's it, that's it, a small country schoolhouse uh, with the half a dozen kids in the class and uh, the, the school marm is, is reading the, out of the book while they're raising the flag in early morning just before they start classes the horse and buggies in the background it's still early days and the du some ducks are coming in. The, the various kids, there's one kid there that's a uh, teacher's pet. He's off right behind the teacher, you know. But of course, he's not doing it right. He's got his hand over the wrong side. He's not over his heart. It's over the other side. But that's typical that day. And uh, like the other kid that's off to the side with his dog watching the ducks, kind of not paying attention to what's going on, that's me because that's usually the position I was in. I wasn't really paying attention in school at all. And uh, but, so I, I put myself in that kind of a little self-portrait there on that one. God shed his grace on thee. The sixth uh, painting in the series is God shed his grace on thee. That one is, is the picture itself is kind of self-explanatory. Uh, you've got the shaft of light coming through onto the church, and the churchgoers are just getting ready to leave. And you have the boy and the girl again. The boy's with his mother this time, and the girl standing along watching the dog. It was hard to light that picture and get the town in the background very subtle. I didn't want that to pop up very much, and it worked out pretty well. The seventh one in the series, Crown Thy Good with Brotherhood, was a, that, was an, that was an interesting one to do because I love doing night scenes. And I thought, good, there's a good chance for a, a pre-Christmas, uh, it's during the holidays in the wintertime type scene. And uh, moonlight lit, but it's also lit by the house lights, which give you some challenge there for, for dual lighting purposes. And the town's all lit up in the background, so it's an early evening type of scene. And they're busy getting presents uh, into the house. And then in the foreground are your deer, that's the touch of wildlife. From sea to shining sea. The final one in the series, From Sea to Shining Sea, that uh, is the end result, which gets up like into what you'd call almost modern times. It could be back some years, but it's, it's pretty modern times then. And that's kind of like the end result to me of of the America, the American dream is in the end, you, to me, I would still want to be a kid on the fishing dock, is what it amounts to. And it's, it's I thought of a sea shot, but I, it's combination with the lighthouse and the open waters in the background, so it is, is a sea shot in a sense, but they're in the little bay or lagoon, so uh, it's, it's a cozy little spot to be there. This project is kind of like the accumulation of everything I learned and, uh, you know, up to this point. It's probably the biggest, I'd say it's probably the biggest project that I'll ever do. Because after this, there will never be, I'm sure there will never be another series of eight paintings all relating together because there's no real good reason. The song America the Beautiful is the best reason I can think of.